Okay, so what we're going to do now is show you a grinder, a hand grinder. We have a, uh, like one of those chop grinders, Krupp's typical chop grinders. Um, it's been working okay, but we feel it uses a lot of energy, um, and uh, it's still chopping, it's not grinding. And we kind of want the burr grind. It's a much better chop, more consistent grind, so this is it. It is called... Haro Ceramic Slim. It's kind of hard for some reason to see how small they are on, on the videos and on anything. So, so it looks like that's it. It looks like a pepper mill. Wow, it's so tiny. So tiny. I, it's, uh, I thought when we got the box that uh, they forgot the mill because <laughs> it was so light. So you put the coffee in here, looks like. It, where? The top, sorry. Oh, okay. Put the coffee in here. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. It's plastic. Plastic. Okay. Everything's plastic. It's made to light lightweight. It's just got some kind of. Okay, it just stays on there, I guess. Mmm. Yeah. Ooh, maybe, maybe we'll have some coffee tonight. Grind some coffee tonight. Oh, we'll wait for the morning. And yeah, that's it. I think that's it. I think you just hold it like this and grind away. Mm. And in probably three or four seconds, you're all ground up. Mm. Not three or four seconds. I think I've seen people do these and it usually takes some minutes. It's not like, you know, you're just going to grind it and it's going to be over. You have to work it. It's part of your morning routine, your morning workout, I guess. But well, it's really good that... in my hand. It's a perfect <laughs> grip for me. So I think it's absolutely perfect. And we really, what? rarely grind much more. It says two cups. Oh, We perfect. rarely do more perfect. than two cups. I think that's about the exact amount that we need. That's why we got it. Uh, less energy that we use. Um, no energy. Well, no except energy. for your energy. Yeah, little energy. Um, and it looks like a good quality made product. Uh, we'll probably grind some up for you and see if it tastes good. But uh, Alright. Okay, so we're just going to put a little bit, grind it through, and then throw it away. Just in case there's any granules of plastic or um, ceramic, whatever's in this thing. Oh, so the handle comes on and off every time. Yeah. All right, so I guess you know when you're done. All right. So is that the fine grain you wanted? Ooh, that might be a little too fine. Um. Ooh, that's a really nice grind right there. Is it? Yeah. Oh, awesome. All so right. consistent. All right. Okay. So we... All right. So just kind of to the it. top of the little plastic things, I guess. Okay. And maybe two cups. This is the first time we've done this, so I don't really know, you know. Okay, let's just see how long it takes to do that many. So it's really easy to turn this thing. Um, matter of fact, you know, I had to check down here just to see if it's actually grinding anything because it feels like it's not even doing anything. You're done. All right. There it is. Now, thank you from Tiny Trailer Life. Yeah. <laughs> Full. Oh, here. Full. Okay. Full. So that's what we're going to have this morning. Okay, you keep moving. <laughs> we'll just try it. to find out how, how, much you, you know, how good it is okay. later. We'll try to find out. The... There it is. All right. Okay, got it. Thank you. Very nice. We've been using this Hario Super Slim uh, for about a week now, and it's fantastic. Uh, it's real easy to do this. You know, it takes a little time. I mean, we're only, I'm only making you know two cups here, two cups worth of coffee. So it just takes a little bit of uh, uh, time, not really effort. But the grounds are really, really consistent, and the coffee tastes fantastic so far. So I love this thing. I think it's fantastic. That's exactly what we needed. It's easy to hold in your hand. You can see how easy it is to hold. So when I make my uh, French press coffee, uh, you, 
you make sure that this thing is boiling. If your water isn't boiling, you're just wasting your time. But if you wait a couple seconds, because you don't want it to be completely boiling, that's what they tell you now. So you just wait a little bit, and then when you pour it in, I first just pour in like a little bit, and then I stir it like this. Or don't don't stir it. I shake. I shake it. Don't stir. You don't want to stick something in there and stir it around. It, there could be little clogs of uh, clods of uh, coffee or something. But I think it just kind of the gentle shake just kind of gets it all, you know, uh, completely soaked. And then you put your final topping on, almost to the top. I put a little bit of hot water on my on the bottom of that screen, so that's not cold when I put it in there. So it's nice and warm when it gets in there. And that's it. How long do you wait? Three minutes. It's been three minutes. Push this down. Something that I've found is that you got to push this down slowly. Um, it seems like the coffee tastes better when it's hard to push. Hmm. I always know, all right, we're going to have some good coffee today because it's kind of hard to push this. If it just goes right down, doesn't work. So that's it. Then you take that and you pour it into your cups. Leave a little on the top because I add either a little bit of water or a little bit of coffee to get just the right taste after I put sugar in it. <laughs> Here's our coffee. Alright. Uh, uh, Hario, Hario makes great coffee. Mmm. Thank you for watching Tiny Trader Life. Have a taste.